So you're trying to figure out what neighborhood in San Diego to pick and you're considering Claremont. Well, here we are and even Claremont, who most people pick based on proximity to pretty much everything in San Diego as we're gonna explore in this video, also has its share of sexy spots as you can see behind me. So in this video, we're gonna explore everything there is about living in Claremont. That includes the good, the bad, the ugly, everything in between. And if you also wanna understand what the real estate here looks like at different price points, we're gonna visit three different homes priced at different tiers so that you would know exactly what to expect if you end up calling this home and you know exactly how far your money will take you. So if that's what you're looking for and you want to deep dive into Claremont right here in the heart of San Diego, stick with me because we're going to get after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button below and tap that bell for notifications so that you're the first to know about any changing market conditions right here in San Diego. My name is Dan Beer and every single day, people just like you are looking to make the move within San Diego and they're figuring out what is the right neighborhood for them. And every single day we receive phone calls, emails, text messages, and we set up Zoom calls with people just like you. Make sure you get customized help. So if that's you, make sure you shoot us a text, phone call, email, and we'll make sure that we help you make a smooth move move to San Diego or within San Diego. All right, guys, I, we're here at Harlan Brewery right now, and so I'm excited. We're gonna go and walk through. I'm gonna take you over to the bar, and it's really one of the best local spots right here in Claremont. While and before we make our way over there, I just wanted to share how the primary reason anybody really chooses Claremont is it is so centrally located. You're next to all of these neighborhoods that typically the real estate for the same thing that you'd get here would be significantly more, sometimes two or three times more, depending on exactly where. To emphasize just how close we are to everything, you could easily have breakfast in La Jolla, literally shooting up this way about 10 minutes. Downtown and the airport are just 10 minutes the opposite way. You want more beaches, you have Coronado, what, 15, 18 minutes away, you have Del Mar, 15 minutes, 18 minutes away to the north, right? Coronado to the south. So you just have so many of the beaches within close proximity. You can make your way over to Pacific Beach, Mission Beach, Ocean Beach, Point Loma, again, all within that 15 minute or so window. And so it's this amazing location that has definitely more of a bedroom community, even though there's really cool little funky spots like this, but where people, whether they're, they're, it's their first home, it's their move up home, it's their family home, it's their singles home, all kinds of different people that are looking for a place that gives them proximity to all of the things that they enjoy within San Diego. So most Claremont folks, if you were to talk to people that live here locally, they'd tell you, you know, of course I have my breakfast spot, my lunch spot, and, but for the most part, I make use. Claremont allows me to make use of all of the beauty of what is San Diego, right? North Park is right next door. And by the way, we have videos on all this right here on San Diego neighborhood. So I'd say if you kind of can't figure out where and you know what neighborhood and you kind of want access to it all, this is definitely one that you're gonna want to consider. So with that, let's make our way back over here. Right now we're at Harlan Brewery. And Harlan Brewery is a local spot that is really nice little gathering place for people. You'll notice the people that are here, they're locals. That they're not tourists, they're not, you know, it's not like that downtown gas lamp scene where there's just people kind of pouring in from all over the place. Instead, it's really just tourists that are here, or excuse me, it's locals that are here, and they're here to enjoy one of the nicest kind of very, um, very unassuming, but really, really tasty, really great. You know, they have apps, they have, really wonderful beer selection and hopefully you can see this right here behind me and so this is Harlan Brewery and gives you an idea for some of the local flair that is here in in Claremont that's awesome that's really really nice crisp light they have all these nice, uh, you have to take a look at these burgers too because their burgers are, I mean, I don't know if they're going to get angry at me saying this, but to me, they've always just been like an extraordinarily good version of what White Castle wishes it were. So this is a pretty good feel for what Claremont is. It's, we're right here on Napier, right off Marina, and it's kind of just has these little, like local, little local shops, little local stops. Right here you have Poseidon Project, kind of another cool little brew type spot give you a little look in here it's just kind of a local bar they don't do their own brewing but how are you again just nice little 
nice little lo uh, local uh, eatery, amazing pizza, really, really, really good burgers too, but I like the pizza there personally. And then this spot. So this is kind of more me, my style, it is, is uh, right here. So Bay Park Coffee is a place where if I'm driving through, if I'm anywhere around, and again, this is right in the middle of everything, so I'm kind of always around, then that's a spot that I love to go to. It just has a really nice energy in it. I'm actually gonna go grab something in there right now. Uh, San Diego Yoga right next door, so they'll often pop in here. You could easily be uh, taken over by all the yogis whenever you're in here grabbing something. But just check it out. That's a really nice, just local, low-key, relaxing energy. Very different from where we just were. So it's nice to see. All right, guys, so we're gonna make our way over to the houses because at the end of the day, that's what Claremont's all about. But I just wanna take you finally down one more street just to give you a little feel for some of the local spots that are here. And there's nothing better sometimes than just having a local good old fashioned meat shop. So this is Cecil's Meats. It's a really good, great butcher shop. I'm gonna take you in here. They have also a deli attached to it, a grocery store. But this place, I mean, it is just the kind of place where if you like to shop local, you would love this. and. Here's what I love about it, right? I mean, they have, they have endless amounts of different cuts. And if you're a tri-tip fan, if you're a tri-tip fan, check this out. I mean, do you want Korean tri-tip? you want bourbon tri-tip, butter, garlic tri-tip, Benny tri-tip? I mean, you get the point. This is, this is that kind of place. It's really a special little spot. They have a lot of just local, nice, really um, well, just kind of curated food products. And again, again, I'm gonna just film this here because it is beautiful. If you're a meat fan, check this out. So you know what? I think they should call Arby's and let them know they got the meats. You got the meats, you got the meats, yeah. Look at that, and then they got the deli back here. Anyway, this place is great. Definitely really nice to just have something like that here locally. And then right next door, one of the um, most well-known uh, fish kind of markets, uh, taco, fish taco shops, fresh seafood, anywhere across San Diego. And that's right here at Bay Park Fish Company. So Bay Park Fish, give you a little quick look inside. We're off hours right now. So it's gonna be relatively empty. So right now it's about three o'clock in the afternoon. So that's why there's not as much activity. But if you think about it, for three o'clock in the afternoon, they have a decent amount going on. Let me see, where's their, there they are. So Bay Park Fish Co. That's a place that you definitely want to visit, by the way, regardless of if you move to Claremont or not. That's a spot. And then right here, Luce Cafe. And this is a kind of place that you might expect to see in like North Park, South Park, kind of just those up and coming, just, just really new vibe places and it's right here i mean look if i turn around the freeway is like right over there this is just a bunch of cross streets right it's it's not the kind of place you might expect to find something like that the meat and grocery store that's kind of more that even the old fish company spot right behind us bay park fish co but luce is absolutely awesome and you would want to go there and then beyond the area that i just showed you they also have watch let me walk you in the main front door so it has this kind of open loft space as well all still part of the same restaurant that's all luce all right having done that seen it been there let's do this we are in claremont for a reason this is a place while this is all really nice what the real reason is that people move here that you might move here whether you're already in san diego and relocating here or from out of state you would move here to enjoy the location and it's all about the real estate. It's all about the real estate, your home, and the proximity it puts you to, to downtown, to North Park, to South Park, to Del Mar, to Coronado, to Point Loma, to La Jolla, you name it, you're gonna be close to it if you're in Claremont. So with that, we're gonna make our way, we're gonna go take a look at three different properties, three different price points, so you get an idea of what your money will buy you right here in Claremont. So with that, stick with me, we're gonna head over there right now.
All right, welcome to Mount Davis. The home right behind me has own solar. It's on the market, a little over 1,100 square feet, four bedrooms, and most importantly, priced under 900,000. So it's really one of the better purchases that you're gonna find right now. And in the particular area, this location that we're in right now, you'll see I'm just sort of walking in the middle of the street. It's quiet. This is what's known as the Mount Streets. So you have Mount Elbrus, Mount Etna. Right now we're on Mount Davis. It's all of these streets that are the Mount Streets. And so the subject property right here, a single level home, if you're looking to get into Claremont, under a million dollars. And again, I mean, you live here, you're at one of the best shopping centers in Southern California, UTC, with, you know, again, in an under 10 minutes. You're in La Jolla, downtown La Jolla, having an awesome breakfast at the cottage in 10 minutes. You're downtown enjoying your evening in, I don't know, 12 minutes, okay? so. Again, people come here for the location and you get a really, really great bedroom community and also as you've seen in this tour of Claremont, also just access to shopping, etc. This particular property in this location has really good access to the Tecolote um, hiking trail system and so people here really enjoy that. It's quiet and there's shopping really just around the corner. So there's really a lot to like about the location. This is again, it's not a huge home. It's under 11, it's under, it's over 1100 square feet. I was gonna say under 1200 square feet. Um, but you get this really nice single fam, single level living. And if you look around, most of the homes here are single level. And that is very rare for what you now find across pretty much anywhere where they're building in San Diego County. They're really encouraging a lot of vertical. And so single level living is going to be more and more at a premium because more and more so this the city is creating incentives for people to um, build vertically just in order to save space and create more housing so you see right across the street this property has been really beautifully renovated and so the, the subject property again at under 900,000 it has also experienced its own renovation and then right next door you also have one that probably needs a renovation and you can see some of what's happening here but this is also some of the economic opportunity that's available in the area this property clearly not being taken care of and so somebody will end up coming in here renovating it adding value that'll end up selling once it's all renovated probably north of a million dollars and then suddenly you have added value right here at this property and next to that one that needed the renovations well another one another one right there but again, that's just what the nature of all of these streets are, these what they call the Mount Streets. And it's a lot of what is to like about it because people that are putting investment into this neighborhood, you're seeing added value and you're seeing um, earned equity, which is hard to come by sometimes. So lots of like here, under a million dollars. We're also gonna go now and we're gonna take a look at property north of a million and give you a sense for how price point will increase as the property type the location the views etc and the size increases so with that let's jump in the car and we're gonna go take a look at that right now All right, we're now on Barso Street. I'm gonna take you over here right now to a home that's on the market. It's on the market and it has been renovated. And the story of adding value, creating creating space to make, you know, to, to just have that earned equity in Claremont that continues. So this property is listed at 115 and just about what? So right now, three months ago, they, it was purchased by the owner who's now selling it for 115 for 800,000. So by the way, if you're a buyer of a property for your end, right, and this is the right home for you, I would encourage you never to be wrapped up in what people paid. But I'm just emphasizing that again, Claremont is a great place to add equity, add value, if you're in a position to do so. Of course, it takes a lot of cash to be able to do so because you have to pay for all the renovations typically through cash or hard money. Um, and if you want any help around that, of course, we're happy to make any recommendations. But more importantly, what I'm saying is there's opportunity for added value in Claremont as these homes are renovated. You'll see behind me, there's property that probably could be renovated. And then you have the subject property that, let's get into it, has four bedrooms. The three of the bedrooms are in the main home. One of the bedrooms is what we call an ADU, which is an additional dwelling unit. 
And so there's the property right there. It's really charming inside. It's all been renovated. The bathrooms, the flooring, the kitchen. The kitchen's just blown up wide open. You know, it has that chef's kitchen feel. Um, backyard has a really nice private feel. I've been inside. It's got a, it just a really nice private feel. And in fact, they've done a really good job also with the with the um, ADU giving that its own private backyard type feel. So um, that's a good example of what you can buy in Claremont, right? We've seen under 900,000 what you could get. This is a million 150. Again, this is getting you four bedrooms, three baths total when you do look at the ADU. Um, and overall, this has 1,512 square feet. So 1,512 square feet up from 1,100 and change on the previous home. And now we're gonna jump up and take a look at what a million seven will get you on a property that just recently closed, but I want you to see it so that you get an idea of exactly what you know that one seven range will get you. Because by the time you're coming out and looking at the property, these are all just examples of price points. The crop then will be a different group of homes, but it gives you a good feel for 900, a million 150, a million seven. So with that, let's jump over there and take a look at another property right here in another neighborhood in Claremont. That property, by the way, in famed Bay Park, which is one of the most well-known areas in all of Claremont. So I think you're gonna like it and we're gonna jump over there now. All right, guys, here we are. We're in the, we're right here in the streets. And, oh, this is Galveston Street, by the way, here in Claremont. And I just wanna kind of walk up and down the road just a little bit, give you a sense for what the street feels like. But check this out, because I'm gonna give you the economics on exactly what happened with this property. Recently sold for a hair under $1.7 million, just, just a, f a few months ago. But what I wanna share with you is that it's been renovated and and this is particularly a neighborhood. Claremont as a whole is a place where you can come in, find a property, add value, and the per people that sold this for one seven only a few months earlier had purchased the property for one three thirty three. So by fixing it up, my estimation based on what they did to it, I think you could do that probably at around a hundred or so thousand dollars, and then suddenly the property was worth one point seven million. So they added quite a bit of equity by making that investment. And that's really what Claremont's all about. It has just such a desirable uh, location, but the construction, a lot of it is on the older side. And for example, this property, the subject property, right? Sold for 1.7, renovated, all kind of modern new kitchen, five bedrooms, it's, it's awesome. And we're sharing, sharing some of those photos with you. But if you come down here and take a look, you have another like really nicely put together home right there. But then if you look right up here, this one kind of needs a little bit more work. And then kind of a nicer home again right here, renovated, taken care of. And then right next door to it, a property that is ready for investment. And this is the story of Claremont. Doesn't matter what neighborhood you're in, what part of Claremont you're in. We're in Bay Park right now, but whether we're in Bay Ho or, or the heart of Claremont itself, that story is going to repeat itself over and over. So this happened to have been a 133 uh, purchase that then sold for a hair under 17, but this is the same truth in purchases that you can make at six or seven, eight hundred thousand dollars that end up being worth 900 or a million or a million one. Really all through the price points of Claremont, you're gonna have those opportunities because of the older nature of the construction relative to what San Diego considers old and then just how there's renovated homes kind of scattered throughout, raising prices, giving opportunity for those that still have not been renovated to do the same. So I'm not saying this for to, to uh, suggest you become a home flipper or anything like that. What I'm saying is if you're the type that says, hey, I wanna get into a property, I'm ready to pay a San Diego price, I get it, but I want the opportunity to add value and to have equity, right, to create equity, then this is a really good location for that and you definitely will wanna ask us to set you up with a tour right here in Claremont. Hey guys, back here at the office. I hope you enjoyed the video, walking through Claremont. And if you wanna go through any other neighborhoods, make sure you check out the channel, subscribe, hit the button below, and we'll help you make that smooth move. Remember, we're meeting with people, taking text messages, phone calls, 
email, setting up Zoom calls, and all the details for that are in the description in this very video, in all of our videos here on San Diego Neighborhood. So if we can connect and make your move easier, whether you're within town or coming to town, we'd love to help that happen for you. So have a good one, enjoy the videos, enjoy the channel.